For this problem, we are required to derive an expression for mid-span deflection for the simply supported beam. Dahil meron tayong symmetrical loading, alam natin na yung maximum deflection ay mag occur sa mid-span ng beam. I-denote natin yung mid-span ng beam as point C. Step number 1. Compute the value of reaction of roller at A and hinge at B. Dahil symmetrical lang yung beam at yung loading, therefore the value of reaction at A is equal to the value of reaction at B. By taking the summation of all forces vertical is equal to 0, RA plus RB is equal to WL. Pwede nating palitan yung RB ng RA, therefore this will become 2RA is equal to WL. Thus RA is equal to WL over 2. And RA is also equal to RB. Step number 2. Draw the possible shape of the elastic curve of the beam. One thing na alam natin kapag symmetrical yung beam at yung loading, yung maximum deflection ng beam ay mag occur sa mid-span. Thus, the lowest point of the elastic curve is located at the mid-span. Step number 3. Draw a tangent line on the elastic curve taken at mid-span. Note, in a symmetrically loaded beam, the tangent line drawn at elastic curve at mid-span is horizontal and parallel to the unloaded beam. Dahil nga located sa mid-span, yung maximum deflection ng beam, kaya kapag nag-drawing tayo ng tangent line sa elastic curve sa mid-span, ay horizontal yung magagawa natin dahil zero yung value ng slope ng tangent line sa mid-span. Step number 4. Construct the moment diagram by parts. Dahil symmetrical yung loading ng beam, pwedeng yung kalahating part lang ng beam yung kunan ko ng moment diagram by parts. I-take natin yung axis ng C at doon natin i-moment lahat ng loading ng beam. Unahin natin i-moment yung RA sa point C at ang moment niya na equal sa WL over 2 multiplied by L over 2 equal to WL squared over 4. Next is the uniformly distributed load W at ang moment ng load W sa point C is equal to W multiplied by L over 2, eto pa lang yung load, multiplied by moment arm, L over 4, this is equal to WL squared over 8. Dito pa lang sa moment diagram, pwede mo nang i-include yung negativity sign sa value para hindi ka mamaya malito sa solution mo. Pwede din namang hindi, basta dapat alam mo na lahat ng nasa taas na area ay positive at lahat ng nasa ibaba na area ay negative. Yung moment diagram natin para sa uniformly distributed load W, ang card na to ay naka second degree. Kapag iminoment ko yung right segment ng beam sa point C, ay same lang din naman yung magagawa na moment diagram, kaya hindi na natin siya pinakita. Step number 5. Compute the value of deviation of point A relative to a tangent line drawn to the elastic curve at point C. Or the value of deviation of point B relative to a tangent line drawn to the elastic curve at point C. Note, the deviation at either support from mid-span tangent line is equal to the mid-span deflection. Etong distance na to yung ating deviation of point A with respect to C. Etong distance naman na to yung ating deviation of point B with respect to C. At kung mapapansin natin, yung mga deviation na yan ay equal sa value ng maximum deflection. Kapag ang ginamit natin is yung deviation of point A relative to a tangent line drawn to the elastic curve at point C, ang kailangan lang natin na area is yung area from point A to point C. The formula for deviation of point A relative to a tangent line drawn to the elastic curve at point C is equal to 1 over EI multiplied by area from point A to C multiplied by bar XA. This is also equal to the maximum deflection or the deflection at mid-span. Kailangan natin ng distance ng centroid ng moment diagram hanggang point A. Para sa triangle, this distance is equal sa 2 third ng length which is equal to L over 2 and this distance is equal to L over 8. Para naman sa second degree curve, 
this distance is equal sa one fourth ng length which is L over 2 and this is equal sa three fourth ng length which is equal to L over 2. Kaya naman this distance is equal sa 3 8 ng L at ito naman ay equal sa L over 8. Computin na natin yung value ng deviation of A over C equal yun sa 1 over EI. Unahin natin muna yung triangle. Area ng triangle is equal sa 1 half. Yung length ng triangle is equal sa L over 2. At ang intensity is equal sa WL squared over 4. At ang bar XA ng triangle is equal sa L over 8. Next is yung second degree curve. Dahil nasa ibaba siya, therefore negative area, negative minus, yung area niyan ay equal sa 1 third ng L over 2 multiplied by intensity WL squared over 8. Hindi na natin isasama yung negative sign na inilagay natin dito. Dahil kinonsider na nga natin na negative siya dito. Multiplied by bar XA ng second degree curve, which is equal to 3 8 ng L. Isimplify natin, equal yan sa 1 over EI, WL to the 4th over 48, minus WL to the 4th over 128. Therefore, the deviation of A relative to C or y max, or the value of deflection at mean span, is equal to 5 W L to the 4th over 384 EI.